Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Stacy, and we live here in Cambodia. And if you are a returning subscriber, I am glad to have you here. Thanks for stopping by. And if you're new, welcome, and we're so glad to have you here. I am a homeschool mom, and we have four boys, and my twin boys are in kindergarten. And today, I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Good and the Beautiful Math Level K. Um, so first of all, I'll show you what you guys get and then give you guys kind of a flip through, show you some of the things that we like about it, and um, I also have some clips inserted of my boys doing the math. So I hope you guys enjoy it and find it helpful. If you hear my boys talking, they are literally just um, downstairs down there playing. Their dad is down there with them. So if you order the Good and the Beautiful Math Level K, this is what you guys get. You get an activity box, and um, this is math part one and then math part two. And it comes in these really nice spiral bound, um, good quality and the pages are like really nice and thick. And anything that they print that's in color, they do like a really good job printing it. It's um, really nice and vibrant. You can uh, get the PDF and print it yourself, which is cheaper. And if you're living overseas, that definitely is a good option, so you don't have to worry about shipping. However, we were in the States last year, and so I was able to just um, order it directly from the company and bring it home like this in our suitcases back to Cambodia. And that worked really good for us, and I'm glad because I was able to get good quality. And in honor of trying to always be open and honest with you guys, I want to say that I am getting a slight discount in exchange for doing this review. And I wanted to wait to do this review until I was um, well into it so I could understand better if we, it was going to work for us or not. And we are on less than 55, so I would say we're pretty well into it. That's almost halfway through it. Okay, so I'm going to open up this math kit and show you guys what is inside of here first. Okay, so this here is a my calendar. So on the front calendar, um, they have a really good quality. They got a like metal spiral in here and they also have the months of the year down here which is great to discuss with my boys because they're always wanting to know how many more months till my birthday or how many more months till Christmas or whatever. <laughs> um, inside they have all about me and so this was just fun to fill out and I had to help the boys but one thing I would say um, it says like for the school year it'd be nice if they had room instead of just 2019 if they had room also for like 2020 to write there but it's okay. We are in the month of December, and so we can write the days of the month up here and then also check off each day that we did school. And for each month, they have like a little poem that goes with the weather that month. So this one is Jack Frost, which that does not necessarily apply to the weather here in Cambodia, but still it's fun to teach the boys about different weather seasons. And here they are supposed to draw what December looks like to you, which my boys need to do that yet. But yeah, that's a fun little thing to do with the boys to help them learn about the calendar and the days of the week and the months of the year. So the place value chart looks like this and um, when you open it up, you have a ones, tens, and hundreds spot and you can take a dry erase marker to write the number math lesson that you're on. And for each math lesson you do is you scribble in another one and I have two twins, so that's why there's two in here. Um, and I don't have two of the actual value thing, place value kit thing. But anyway, for each math lesson, they scribble in one more block, and then when they have 10, we glue it over here on the tens frame, and when that's all full, then we'll move over to the hundreds frame. And so this is just to help them get to understand how many a hundred is, and um, have it be hands-on and manipulative, and just help them to get a good basic understanding of math. This is a thing of toothpicks, which you use multiple different ways to learn about tally marks, and also to like make shapes with it and stuff, how many sides the shapes have. An abacus which is really fun. My boys have a lot of fun just playing with that. Um, then you get some blocks and you get two dice. And this dice here is a, it's like diamond shaped and it has like nine sides to it. Um, they play different games with that. And there's also a regular dice down in there that they play different games with. And the blocks, they do all different kinds of like counting, stacking, patterns, um, growing patterns. The other day we were doing growing patterns. And then next, this is just number flashcards. Nice, black, white, simple, uh, straightforward. And they are laminated, so they will last a while, which is really nice. Um, then there's also flashcards. There's shape flashcards and like 10, 10 flashcards. Um, there's different numbers in there. Um, this here was just something in one lesson they had us cut out 
to work with for some bonus activities. So I just stuck them in there to keep it organized. Um, and then next is, these are pattern block pieces. And they come, with these, they come with these nice little bags so it's easy to keep things organized. And you use those with all of these. It's all different shapes and they are like laminated also and they're double sided. Um, and my boys love these, they're a lot of fun. And then they also just like to use their imagination and build with them. And these here are like cardboard, printed on cardboard, so they're really durable and thick and will last a while. This is inchworm manipulatives, and they use these a lot to measure stuff with, like how many inchworms is it, learning about size, like an inch and stuff like that. Um, these are bee manipulatives. You use these right at the beginning, um, and they have like a little poem that you do where like one bee hops up, two bees does this, or the second bee does this, the third bee does this, and so it teaches you to count like first, second, third to recognize those numbers, which is really fun. And it's fun to go over the little poem with them. It's so cute. This is garden plant manipulatives, and they have like a garden, a 10 frame garden here that you can, um, today, for example, in our lesson today, we were learning to count by twos, and so you plant two plants at the same time in these different spaces, so you learn to count by twos. And the boys thought that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, they just really like this hands-on math. They have a chalkboard 10 frame also. Okay, next of all, you get a handwriting card, which is already laminated, so you can use a dry erase marker and write over the numbers and erase them again. And they have you practicing writing your numbers. And then they also have a place to practice writing your phone number. So that's really good, stuff, stuff that we want our kids to learn anyway at this age. Um, this is a part and whole work mat. And this one is laminated also, but my boys got something really sticky on it. So yeah, this is everything that you get in the math kit. It's a lot of stuff and it's definitely worth it and um, makes it very hands-on. It's good for kinesthetic learners. All right, next of all, I'm gonna show you guys inside of this math curriculum part, um, part one. Okay, so here's the table of contents for part one. And they tell you like at a glance what to expect and about this course. And then they start off with like numbers one to five and then they build like here's six to 10. And then they learn about tally marks and it builds from there. Um, I will say for my twins who are five, this was really easy for them at the beginning, but that's okay because then they get a really good solid foundation in math and they can start to view math as a positive fun thing that's not too hard and it is doable. And so I really like that. Um, so yeah, part one goes to lesson 60 and then they move on to the next part. Um, and I wanna say this too, like at lesson 33, they have a section one assessment. And that way, if you and the mom are wondering as the mom or teacher are wondering if they're learning anything, this assessment can kind of reassure you that, oh yeah, my kids are learning something. They are comprehending. So yeah, this is level K at a glance and they just tell you all about it. So this curriculum is very open and go and it tells you exactly what to say and what to tell the student and stuff like that. So at the beginning here, they have Max and the Hive, and it's a little story, which I love, a math book with a story. And it has these cute little bee manipulatives that go with this story that you do different activities with. So this is lesson one. Isn't that so cute? And then this is lesson two. And every day they start off with a daily dose, and then they have check boxes that you check off when you've done this stuff. So this is like the calendar. You check off the date, you do the months of the year song, and then you write the date like on a whiteboard, um, the parent can demonstrate it. And then you do your place value chart, and then there's shape graph in the back, which I will show you then. But they have all different graphs that they do throughout the year to help them learn about graphing. And it's really fun for the, for the boys. And then here's your actual lesson. So you read the story, Max and the Hive, and then it tells you what to discuss. And then this really cute little poem that, for example, five little bees in a hive learning how to fly. The first bee hops, the second one slides. So you have to do it with your little bees as you read the poem. So that's fun for the boys. Okay, so let's flip a couple pages over here. Um, here's learning about numbers one to five, and it's really cute spread. Um, it's the ice cream shop, and you have to put the correct amount of scoops on top of each cone. So isn't that just so pretty? And the, the colors are so vibrant. The quality is so good. Okay, so then moving on, this is lesson four, number six to 10. And the top of each lesson, they tell you exactly what materials you're gonna need for that lesson. So this one is just your standard supplies. And at the way front of the book, they have a list of your standard supplies. So it's just things that all of us already have around our house for the most part. So again, it's just, um, yeah, making sure they understand numbers sense really well. 
let's flip forward a couple of pages. So they also learn about money in here. Here you can see they have a school supply shopping list. And this is back a little ways further. This is lesson 29. So this is just pennies. But yeah, that was fun for them to do that. This here is starting section two, addition and subtraction. And so this is a new story. This is in the garden with Miss Ruby. And I love that they have different nationalities and stuff mixed into their pictures and stories. Their art in here is really beautiful. They mix art study into it. Sometimes they have the kids look at a picture and find the different shapes or count how many of this or count how many of that is in the picture. Um, they ask questions while the kid looks at the picture and I love that part. That's one thing Good and Beautiful does really good is incorporating art study. So this is lesson 34 where they um, did all kinds of stuff with the 10 frames like adding a vegetable to the garden or taking away a vegetable from the garden and stuff like that. So this is shape patterns where they had to figure out the pattern and then add the next ones, lay them out here. So that was really fun for the boys and they do really well at patterns. So talking about patterns, just the other day we were learning about growing patterns where if you have like one then you have two and then three, four and it can keep growing. Or like this, you have one and then you add two and then you add three and it can keep growing. It's called a growing pattern. So that was fun for the boys. And again, here you can see the different nationalities and um, yeah, I just really, really like that. So here's another picture, like an art study that they did. Here was a gumball counting exercise. That was fun for the boys. Okay, so here's lesson 55. This is the lesson we did today. Um, and we went through and did all of it. And it continued on about the story of Miss Ruby and the girl that came to play with her. And then she saw geese, and then they were counting the geese's wings, so they're learning to count by twos. So that was really fun for the boys. Um, it was a fun concept to teach them. Then they had to plant stuff in their garden by twos. Um, so that was fun. Good hands-on way to learn. They had to help somebody cross the river, um, only going on the number two rocks. So I don't know if you can see, but they did it in pencil, but they had to help them. So that was fun. And it's again, incorporating art study. And they were again learning about the number eight. And then over here, they're working on shapes and they had to color the different shapes the different colors. Um, so yeah, that was a good exercise for the boys to do today. And then right now they are working on one to 10 spelling chant. Um, it's like O-N-E, only one me, T-W-O, two legs help me go. And so it's teaching them how to spell the word so they can recognize the actual written word. And then down here to 10, that's 10, count again. So back here are some of the different graphs that they have in the appendix. This is a shape shuffle. And so each day they had to pick up, we'd put all the shape flashcards that I have upside down and they pick up one, whichever one they get, they had to color it in to see which one would win. And then um, they had a couple of different graphs back here, a couple of different pages of it. Um, this one here was one we did recently. It's curved lines and straight lines. And so we had to pick up, a, we did our flashcard number flashcards upside down. And then each day they pick up one flashcard. And if it was all straight lines, right over here. If it's all curved lines, right over here. And if it's a mix, they put it in the middle. And as you can see, they, they uh, call it what it is, the Venn diagram number one. So we're learning about that. And then today we just started this one and it's the Venn diagram number two and what's the weather like today? And so today we had we um, had sunny weather and windy weather and so we're also learning about tally marks and so we did a tally mark in the middle here of these three. So this chart is slightly more complicated because it has three circles instead of two. And then this is the number things, whatever you call them. Um, and we cut some out today to use to help us with our counting to number two counting by twos so that was fun and then this is targets back here okay so that's it for that book and then i'm going to show you guys inside book two okay so this is part two and i we haven't done this one yet but i'm going to show you guys inside of it so here's the so here's the table of contents and you guys can just look at that quick. Numbers up to 20. And then again, they have a section assessment afterwards. And then section four is exploring measurement. So that will be really fun. And again, at the end of that one, they have another assessment. And then you start again on your lesson with your daily dose, what materials, what materials you're gonna need, um, and then review, and then um, part, part, whole. And so we're learning about all that stuff. That looks really fun. All right, so let's just skip up here. Here's a maze. 
Oh, my boys will love that. That'll be so fun. It looks like they have to add the different numbers or take away. There we're learning about the line chart again, the number line chart. So this here is story problem practice. So that's so cute. And they have really cute little story problems in here. Again, here's some art study incorporated into it. Ooh, a lot of art study. And again, they have different nationalities. So I really like that. So um, a lot of the lessons will have extra bonus activity that's optional um, and all different stuff to do, but it's not that you have to either. So that's really nice. Here they're using, uh, they have you building different shapes with the toothpicks. Here's some butterfly practice. Let's skip a few pages. This is section three, numbers up to 120 and Mika's beadwork. That looks like that's going to be a really cute little story. So then we start working with the abacus. There's parking cars. Ooh, my boys are going to love that. So yeah, let me just flip through here, show you guys. There's a train. Here is taking away from seven. This is cutting in half. Oh, that'll be fun. And again, there's more of those shapes working with the toothpicks. So this here is working with your inchworms. You're supposed to measure how many inchworms long this is and then write it there. This is a dot board design. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, working. this is working with money and working with time. So that'll be, that's really good. Yeah, just all kinds of fun stuff working with in here. So colorful and bright. Here is measuring one inch, four inch, three right? Inch. And each lesson is different. Every lesson is not just a repeat, 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 which my boys really like and I really like to teach it. It makes it a lot more fun to teach. And if I'm excited about teaching it and not bored by the curriculum, that really helps the boys to enjoy it then also. There's more money and time work. So this is introducing fact family number three. And so it's really cute. Let me show you um, in the back, in the appendix back here. Okay, so then this is the appendix part two. And they have like tiny by 10 cards. They have fact families. They have several pages of these. And again, they have all different nationalities, which I think is really great. This is junior artist cards, and I'm not sure what we do with those. I guess we try to build them with the different shapes. Oh, that's cute. That'll be so fun to do. I love art studies. Ooh, lots of pages of it. Here is um, mountains and valley chart. So in math, they're learning about mountains and valleys. That's so fun. How many other math curriculums do that? Here's the hundreds chart. Oh, I didn't even know that was in here. That's fun. Okay. Shape cards and nets. So this is what you get with Math Level K, the activity box, and the course book, part one and part two. Okay, and so my opinion of the math is that we really enjoy it. It's really good. Um, my boys love it, and I really enjoy teaching it. It's fun. And at the beginning especially, my boys would beg to do math. They would ask. Um, to do it and they still enjoy doing it it's just not quite as new and exciting anymore however they do still enjoy it um, and like I said I really enjoy teaching it because every lesson is not the same and I love that different kinds of learners can use it so if you're an auditory learner there's stuff where the teacher is telling you there's stories so if you're a hands-on learner or a kinesthetic learner um, there's stuff manipulatives to use with your hands so that's really great um, and there's also like page work book work to do um, there's all different kinds of things. There's songs to remember to learn, um, different chants, different poems. There's artwork. Um, so yeah, I just love all the different aspects of it. And I think the Good and Beautiful did a really good job with their Math K. And um, yeah, I think we'll probably use, as of now anyway, I'm planning to use Math Level 1 for next year. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone um, doing looking for a curriculum for their kindergartners. I think it's perfect for kindergarten. It's very hands-on and pretty easy. Um, not too hard to help them get a positive view of math for kindergarten. 
And one thing I did want to say is you can go online to their website and you can get the PDF and um, buy that and print it yourself. And that is a much cheaper option if the price is scaring you a little bit. But like I said, um, to actually get it printed yourself. And so the quality of the work, like the thick pages and then also the colors are really bright and vivid. And I definitely think it's worth it to get them to print it because it... Um, makes it so much more beautiful and then you also get like your math kit is um, really good quality will last a long time and one more thing I want to say about the math activity box I know that I've seen on other YouTube channels that some people get a cute basket to keep all of their manipulatives in I keep a little whiteboard in here also to write the date on the have you write the practice writing the date daily um, and but for me I found it easiest just to keep it in the box and then I keep it in a cupboard where my two-year-old can't get into it I had it in a cute little basket on my bookshelf for a while, but my two would come in and start playing with all this stuff because it was just too, it looked too fun for him. And then when it was time to use it for a math lesson, for example, the blocks, we couldn't find them. So I found it better to keep it in here and in a closet where he can't get into it and he can't see it, so therefore it's not as tempting for him to run off with the pieces. <laughs> so I hope you guys find this review helpful. All right, I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye. Two. Good job, Zeke. You counted by twos, and good job, Zadok. O and E. Only one of me. Good job. Okay, Zadok, your turn. Good job, Zay. B. T. Good job, Zadok. That's right. Okay, Zeke, can you get yours? I'm three, one, six. Six, eight, ten. Yeah, you did it. Good job. So what are you doing today, Zadok? You gotta find the shapes. Like example, it says color the circles red, color the triangles orange, and it really helped them with getting the differences between the pentagon and the hexagon. You have to count the sides on those. That'll be a little bit tricky. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. What did you?